Governor Hochul discussed New York's migrant crisis with President Biden yesterday in a conversation she called very productive. Okay, meantime, on Staten Island, 10 people were arrested, taken into police custody because they were protesting a new migrant shelter at a former senior living facility on their borough. Briella Tomasetti has more from Midland Beach. I mean, things are starting to get a little disruptive in almost every borough. They don't want them there anymore. Yeah, and in fact, Rosanna and Bianca, there is a police presence here this morning because those protests last night were so disruptive. Uh, protesters got in front of a bus at one point, blocking it from entering that facility. As a reminder, the city is caring for nearly 60,000 migrants right now. Let's face it, that number is not expected to get smaller anytime soon. Now, Mayor Adams says that he has communicated with the White House about the urgency of the moment, but it's also clear that tensions are rising between the mayor and President Biden. The two did not cross paths yesterday, nor are they expected to today. So now all options are on the table. And yes, one of those options includes a new shelter here on Staten Island. More mayhem on Staten Island during yet another night of intense protests. Police from the NYPD's 122nd Precinct were called to Father Capadano Boulevard for reports of crowd control issues after demonstrators blocked a city bus thought to be carrying asylum seekers. Ten people were taken into custody. Nine of them were given summonses for disorderly conduct, and the tenth person, a 48-year-old man, is still awaiting potential charges. What provoked these protests? Well, a According to SILive.com, a former senior living facility in Midland Beach is the latest migrant shelter to open in the city. Plans to house asylum seekers on Staten Island have drawn fierce pushback from neighbors and lawmakers. Just last month, the borough was at the helm of the city's migrant crisis when St. John Villa Academy, a former Catholic school, was transformed into a 300-bed makeshift shelter. Mayor Adams has slammed the federal government for its lack of help on the issue and says New York City is carrying the weight of a national problem. I'm very public. Everybody knows who I am. You guys know where I'm at. I am all the time. We're released if we're going to be with um, the president or not. But there was no mention of a meeting with President Biden on the mayor's schedule yesterday. White House aides also confirmed there was nothing on the agenda. Biden's schedule for today includes more meetings and campaigning before heading back to Washington. I spoke to the president earlier this year and shared our concerns. Uh, both the uh, governor was also uh, communicated with him, and uh, that was the last time we spoke with the president. Governor Hochul, in the meantime, wrote on Twitter or X that she, quote, had a very productive conversation with President Biden tonight regarding some of our specific requests for help with the migrant crisis. Also commended him on his leadership at the U.N. today. Adams predicts the migrant crisis will cost the city $12 billion by July of 2025. Now he's ordered all city agencies to slash their budgets 15 percent by next year. Local elected officials and community activists are strongly urging the mayor to reconsider that controversial decision. For now, though, we're live in Midland Beach. Bianca and Rosanna, back to you. All right, Brielle, thanks so much.